calm your tits, slow the fuck down before everything sets on fire. Before you uninstall this game or give it a bad rep for being too difficult of a video game, ask yourself, why did I even click on this video? Well, there's a correlation between wanting to achieve something hard and difficult as a video game achiever and wanting to have something fun as a casual gamer. I conducted some psychological research and in short, we actually love a good challenge. The problem arises when the game is extremely difficult right from the start. Kind of like Flappy Bird, you know, it was super difficult and they literally had to take it down because it was too hard to play. Well, this is kind of the concept. With no gradual increase in difficulty, it's like facing a flat out 10 for 10 difficulty level of game. So what is the reason behind playing this challenging game? Why don't you find joy or fun most of the time, yet it keeps calling you back for more. Our brains release dopamine when we do something fun or exciting. Video games, in fact, trigger a 75 to 300% increase in dopamine. Comparison to drugs like Coke, it offers 225% dopamine increase. You can say video games are dope, pun intended, of course. But what's the deal with Tarkov? It seems like it has a unique vibe that can't be replicated in other games. So what's the secret to this game? Well, let me explain in a fact-based psychological research that I've done. We can establish that we love games in general. When our basic needs are satisfied and we seek meaningful enjoyment with our time, we play video games to serve that purpose of enjoyment. But not in the way you may think that Tarkov, compared to, let's say, Call of Duty or Halo franchise, or any first-person shooter genre of games. Tarkov just mirrors that harshness of life. It's unforgiving, it doesn't hold your hand, you're thrown in, ready to face death, much like the Roman Colosseum. It's entertaining to watch, but not necessarily to participate in. And by extension, it mirrors you in a way. You might be more determined and willing to fight against the odds than to play something that's more casual. And each person seeks their own kind of fun. There's nothing wrong with casual fun games, but those who play Tarkov have a certain psychological profile that I will break down for you. There are five types of personalities that constitute this level of gaming. Destruction, challenge, power, strategy, and excitement. We often set expectations that can lead us astray. What we want versus what we get. The visceral response to this game really tugs on our emotions, driving us to wanting to conquer and when we die unexpectedly, because we're so heavily invested, leaving us feeling defeated, either sighing and questioning our life choices or raging into oblivion. The challenge and the strategy provided gives us a deep learning curve and experience playing Tarkov. Thinking ahead and making decisions to push forward or wait is something that is learned over time as this game leaves a high level of unpredictability, a really high level of unpredictability. We can never know if someone's camping, doesn't matter. You never know when someone's around the corner. Using our thought process and a degree of intuition makes us think twice before losing a dead body or going into a room, as we might fall victim to an ambush. We use our brains to calculate odds and make predictions based on the risk of the event. Tarkov offers a high level of unpredictability. We understand spatial reasoning, which translates to map knowledge and understanding the mechanics of the game. We are pattern learners from the day we are born. And our brains look for patterns. We use our memory and past experiences from our mistakes to learn and improve in the next raid. We use the game mechanics and the gameplay paradigms teach us and eventually give us a competitive edge determining who can recall a certain tactical advantage based on experience. The skill level of using the mechanics is pretty simple like pressing R to reload your gun. Pretty straightforward. But with destruction and power, it gives us the opportunity to eliminate other players with our meta loadouts or the sheer luck of landing a one-hit kill with a sub bar gun and ammo. We build our PMC up to be the most skilled in the game, alongside unlocking traders, flea market, and just customizing our guns to the best of its capabilities. 
The chaos and the mayhem that destruction brings can lead us to believe that there are cheaters in this game. We get shot from anywhere on the map and we assume it's a cheater. Could be, in fact, a cheater, but I bet just had a better loadout and took that shot and you're just questioning your life again. Why do I play this game? But that's the excitement of this game. You never know what's going to happen in a raid. You could come out on top alive or end up dying at any given moment. It gives you a thrill of not knowing what's going to happen, almost like the feeling of gambling, but with the odds increasing as your knowledge and skills develop. However, it doesn't guarantee you anything, just your probability. Based on the Bartell test, the psychologist who developed this test, we are considered part of the killer class, which explains the shooter class genre of video games. I would also add that we are survivors who fight to the end. As punishing as this game is, we need to escape by any means possible. And the reward is just that. We made it through the raid despite all odds. At the end of the day, it's all in our heads when it comes down to playing a game. Why we choose one game over another.